Martin Sala Esam before. Go, and report what I have done for you. Chapter 4 My Meeting with the Prime Minister of Satan For we do not fight against flesh and blood, but against dominions, against the authorities, against the princes of this world of darkness, against evil spirits in the heavenly places, Ephesians 6 12. One day, during my multiple journeys into space, I was attracted by a celestial body. The law of darkness is to test everything that can approach us. I was thrown at tens of meters. Before I fell, a dragon was already on me, in a whirlwind of heat. I found myself in India, in a great temple of Lucifer. I was in a large circular room more than 80 meters in diameter, which rotated at a speed of 30 meters per hour. This vast hall was in the darkness, except for dim lights which shone at certain extremities. The temperature in this room was cold. I was surprised to see an old man appear in the middle of the room. He gestured with his finger. And his right arm tore from his shoulder. This arm immediately turned the contents of a large pool. In the middle of the room. This pool resembled a pot, from which a kind of smoke escaped gently. In a rectangle, a little farther on, was a cobra thick as the thigh, of a fantastic size. This cobra was fed with human flesh, which was brought to it by a special demon. The beverage that was in the pool was human blood, mixed with human flesh. There was no fire, but a cloud of smoke rose from the pool. There were also several other things in this room, which I cannot describe. After turning the contents of the pool, this diabolical arm resumed its place on the body of the old man. They latter opened his eyes and said, I praise you for your courage, my child. Get up. I stood before him. He stared straight into my eyes to hypnotize me, and I stared at him too. His eyes flashed blue, mine too. Not being able to hypnotize me, he stood up and waved his hand. My power diminished immediately. He then told me that I was the person they had chosen for Central Africa. They had a very important project for this region, mainly for Cameroon. But I still had a lot to do to reach the necessary level, and we had to work together. It was really the best possible proposal, and he made me swallow terrible things. He added, on your return, you will be settled in Edia. You will have a laboratory for your journeys and for mine, as well as for our various occult transactions. After the opening of this laboratory, you will return here in your body of flesh, to sign a pact with the master. On my return, I was obliged to seek a house at Edia to install the laboratory there. This old man, who was the prime minister of Satan, came to Edia for the first time in this laboratory to set up certain things necessary for our transactions with the three temples of Satan and to open the way for me. He also invited me to go to India the next day for the signing of the pact. The next day he came to fetch me at six o'clock in the morning. He presented himself in the circle, drawn for this purpose and invited me to enter it also. I did so without a moment's hesitation. No. Sooner had I set foot in the circle than we found ourselves in India, in the temple. I said that I found myself in my body of flesh. The rites began, followed by the signing of the pact. I was installed in the circle. The fat cobra, which was used to make incisions in the flesh, bit my right foot and sucked my blood. He swallowed some of it and spat another part in the pot filled with human blood and human flesh. I had to drink this blood and eat that flesh, and do many other things. The room was almost in the darkness. There was a kind of fog. I could see no one, only voices. After the signing ceremony of the pact, I was allowed to visit the temple, guided by a high ranking demon called Bills who served in this temple. Bills knew the human body perfectly and its weak points. He also knew that man possesses a double power. 
he revealed many secrets about this temple. He spoke to me of the Temple of Great Britain, situated under the earth, and which covers all the temples of the whole world. He also spoke to me of the temple which is in the ocean, and which is the residence of Lucifer, also called the Devil. The Temple of India was that of the Prime Minister of Satan, and it is also located underground. It is necessary to belong to the kingdom of Satan to know all these things, and to know the true power of Satan. The people who are in the sex completely ignore who is Satan. Even the one who is most graded in the Rosicrucianism does not know what is really going on in the kingdom of Satan. The Temple of Great Britain served only for transactions between the various occult sects belonging to the devil. My master was responsible for two temples, that of India and that of Great Britain, with other high-ranking demons admitted to reign with Satan. I point out that it is only the most ferocious demons who are allowed to reign with Satan. On my return I became impossible. I walked without touching the ground, although people saw me walking normally. I pretended to eat, to deceive my fiancé, for she was not to know all these things. Sometimes I would stay for months without touching food. One day I was invited to the Temple of India by my master. After a long discussion, he proposed to me to direct the Temple of Great Britain, while reminding me also what was to happen in Cameroon. He said, if you hold on, you will have billions of francs to manage in your country. We have the great project of installing a temple in one of the countries of Central Africa because we do not have an open field in this region. To tell the truth, I did not understand what he meant by that. The devil can never operate freely in a country where the name of the Lord Jesus is invoked, as well as in a country where the name is not even mentioned. The name of Jesus is a power that blurs all activities of the devil in a region. The prayer of the righteous is very effective, the Bible tells us. I had to go to Britain the next day, magically, to attend the ceremony of my enthronement as the successor of my master in the direction of this temple. It is in this temple that the operations of transfer of the persons sold in the sex take place. It is in this temple that we distribute the demons that work in religious sex. It is also in this temple that the soul of a person sold goes into observation before being executed. It is in this temple that money intended for those who sell their souls to Satan is distributed by demons to different organizations. None of the leaders of these organizations should know what is going on in the kingdom of Satan. They are also deceived, as private individuals. This temple serves as a storehouse for souls awaiting execution from the most senior in a sect to the smallest member. Satan, therefore, addressed an official invitation to me by means of a demon, but he showed all sorts of dangers on the road I had to take to go to Great Britain. Before my departure, my master sent Bills into my laboratory. He was to be my guide. Bills knew the kingdom of darkness perfectly. He knew his master Satan very well. He had already served under the ocean in the temple of Lucifer himself. Bills was a devil with terrific power. He had a burned foot, that is, a part of his celestial body was burnt. He was the specialist in earthquakes and mass destructions. Many Satan demons have this last ability. The devil much appreciated him because of his power. The devil appreciates the powerful. The weak are always destroyed in his kingdom. So I had to leave my laboratory for Great Britain. The devil had blocked the system by which I could fly to any point in the world from my Eddie laboratory. Thanks to his piercing vision, Bills was able to unlock this system, and all the traps were avoided by him throughout the journey. Just before entering the temple, Bills became incarnate in me, so that all the doors of the temple open themselves. When I arrived in the room, a thunder of applause rang out. This room contained only the high dignitaries of the kingdom of Satan and some representatives of 
a cult religious section's A square was drawn on the ground. I was invited to put myself inside this square. Bills told me not to because it was a snare. He told me to apologize. As soon as I apologized, the prince of the demons rose and gestured with his hand. The lid which closed the square jumped, and a cloud of smoke rose from the square. This smoke turned the room into gold. He also showed everything inside the temple, chairs, walls, other objects, as well as the chair on which I had to sit. My master also appeared in the smoke. I was thrown into my chair by an unheard of power. Everything happens with violence in the world of Satan. The induction ceremony began. Two goddesses brought on the golden trays two vases containing various beverages and a piece of human flesh. It took me only a few minutes to swallow the last bite of this flesh and the last sip of these beverages. My master was absolutely delighted to have chosen me, a man capable like me. Other goddesses brought a garment woven with solid gold, a gold crown, gold gloves, and a golden sword. It was my master who clothed me with these ornaments and placed the crown on my head. After the ceremony, one of the assistants was invited to join me on the podium. He was a black man like me. A goddess brought her file which was stained with blood. In Satan, this sign is a sign of death. The order was given to inaugurate my reign in this temple by the execution of this man. By means of the sword. This man was executed with my own hands, and the ceremony ended. Two days later, during the counting of this man's file, Bills revealed to me that he was a Cameroonian. A week later, this man died on the heavy road in Bafia Yaoundé, just between Abala and Yaoundé. He was an important man of that country, a member of the Rose Croy. Currently, he serves in this same temple as a guardian of the Major. Others, who are killed in the same way, are thrown into the abyss of darkness, to suffer torture. Even if you sell your whole family to Satan to become rich he will eventually take you yourself. Satan is a liar.